What's up everyone? Uh, dropping in. We got Ben Holman, Chase Dehart, Daryl Taco, fresh off their Australia trip, filming for Stay Fit. And uh, what's up? Uh, how's it going? <laughs> I was gonna get in trouble for this one. Uh, why? <laughs> Damn fit. Oh, he's good. Because he, yeah. he wishes he could shine with the fit team. But. <laughs> well, obviously, Daryl's not on fit, but he's helping film for the video. So uh, let's kick it off with you. How's filming going? Uh, it went really well. Uh, you know, and going on the trip, I knew the crew, I knew we were going to do pretty good. So uh, everything came out awesome. Got a ton of stuff. So it was just an awesome trip. Together. Yeah, it was, it was good having Dow. We grew up, we all grew up with Dow riding and everything, so that, that's always, you know, made everything comfortable, made everything easy. Didn't have them alone. Yeah, definitely. Like Chase said, it was a it was a small, like tight crew, so everyone was real comfortable with each other. We knew Dow would, would get the shot when we were ready to do something, so we, so we weren't feeling weird. And you know, especially after the last trip we took out here to Cali, we kind of had some. Uh, ball ups with the filmers and things, so uh, it was real good to have someone good behind the lens. And uh, spots were really crazy, just super cool stuff that you wouldn't find here in the states. And uh, everyone was real motivated and just getting stuff done. So it was a real productive trip. So things are definitely rolling now. So stay fit. <laughs> <laughs> what were uh, what were some highlights of being over there for a week? You did some shop appearances and rode with some locals. Yeah, yeah. Shift you guys. We're all looking like who's gonna answer. <laughs> yeah, um, we we stopped by um, strictly BMX, Backbone, um, you know, uh, Hell on Wheels. Yeah, there's a, so there was a lot of good shops over there in Australia that were, uh, you know, just doing things right, like BMX specific shops, and uh, all the kids were super cool. The vibe was super cool, and you know, thanks to everyone over there that took care of us. And, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, Mark over at strictly at the Chris Finnegan, a bunch of locals, 50, ah, 50, he showed all these guys showed us around, it was good, everybody we met over there was really awesome, it was a good vibe over there. Riders out there are incredible, like, yeah, every, every spot ride. we went to, riders just killed it, yeah. and it wasn't like a hungry vibe, like just everybody was chilling and they were all like, had their shit together for yeah. real. Real talented riders out there for sure, it was good. Does it seem like BMX is bigger over there? Compared to skating, or is it like I always get that vibe when people come back? I'm like, man, there's so many riders. Yeah, saw, there so saw a ton shit. more bike riders and skateboarders. Yeah. So that was definitely like, we didn't get, we didn't hit a lot of parks, so we couldn't really couldn't tell what well. the deal yeah. was. But yeah. I mean, we went to a Hell on Wheels jam in Sydney, and it was like yeah, there were probably turned, three, four hundred people there. It was yeah, the like, turnout was unreal. Yeah, it, it was, was nuts. It was so crazy. Yeah, so yeah, riding scenes definitely out there. We would see riders cruising through the city without, you know, not even knowing we'd be meeting up with anybody. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was, it was good too. We were, we we're definitely, uh, you know, uh, Fitch trying to step up their, their team in Australia. Like, you know, they got the, the old English team, you know, for four down that they kind of hold things down in the UK. So kind of trying to do the same thing over in Australia. So, um, you know, they got rider Chris Finnegan and this kid uh, they call Fitty. And, um, you know, so they're kind of on the lookout for another another guy, and uh, this guy Benny, um, just a ripper, like goes four feet higher than everyone else, super good style. So he's he's part of the squad over there now too. So uh, you know they're gonna try to try to get things organized with the distro over there, and just have have a you know fit Australia team just hold it down down under. So. Yeah, it's gonna be so that guy, that kid, get picked up just based on what you guys saw, what you guys were. Oh uh, well, Rob, you know, Robbie had been on the lookout. You know, he's always doing his research on guys, so he he knew Robbie knew about him and heard the legends about him, and uh, so then we met him, and he was a super cool guy, and you know, we joke about mustaches, and and, uh, <laughs> and you know, and then just saw him, just saw him ripping, and just uh, but being a cool dude at the same time, so it just seemed like a perfect fit. <laughs> <laughs> He's planning that halfway through the program. We're going to wrap this real good. <laughs> so, what's up with that thing on your upper lip? Right there? Uh, it's filthy. No, no, I, was, I, was, I was trying to. Getting that Z zoom in. I already did it twice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I have to look good at that. 
<laughs> I was running a beard for a while, but uh, I have a little trouble getting a proper beard, so uh, I don't know. I just, I just got rid of it all and the left the left the stash. Yeah. Kids are scared of them. <laughs> Daryl, what's it like, um, kind of going on a road trip, but being the guy behind the camera instead of riding? Uh, it was definitely different. Like, uh, you know, on a kink trip. We all kind of work together and everybody, you know, figures it out between riding and filming. But on this, you know, this was like my job, you know, like, so I was there to film. So unless, like, the boys wanted to do something, I would, you know, mess around. But at the end of the week, I could definitely feel it, like, like you know, felt weird on my bike and shit. So I guess that's something I'll, I'll get used to later. But Were you yeah. fiending to ride some spots that you yeah, rolled up on? for sure, man. Like, some of the spots were so crazy and you just get there and you're like, shit. <laughs> I know D Hart's gonna have a line within 30 seconds. So, like, <laughs> but I mean, it's still awesome. Like, I love filming, and I just, you know, had three of my close friends on that trip, so it was just an awesome experience. He's lying. He's lying though. In the last day, he he didn't ride most of the trip and filmed like four clips at one spot. Like it was nothing. So. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna ask if you found a couple things. And yeah, just had to put it down. Yeah, yeah we yeah, definitely. We had like me and Van wanted to do like a little two by four edit. Just uh, see what we could get, you know, while the guys weren't shredding. So I got a couple things and see if we can put something together when I get home. Yeah, exactly. Did you guys film a couple of the, the making of safe fits while you're out there? Uh, I don't know what they want to do yet. We definitely filmed a lot of like shop appearances. Yeah. Uh, definitely, like if we went to spots and we saw lines that, you know, couldn't quite make the cut, yeah. we filmed them for the web. And yeah. I'm sure there'll be footage, you know, some random footage popping up on the web. Yeah, from just, the just the trip in general. Are you doing any editing for those or? No, just basically handing everything over to Fit. Like I'm, you know, I'm just basically doing them, you know, doing my buddies a favor and yeah. helping Robbie out a little bit. So getting a free trip. Yeah, yeah. 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 Plus, yeah. 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 I got the opportunity to go to Australia to push the button. So can't believe it. Plus it's now, easy. now we all live around. We all live in the same area back home. So once we get home, weather's gonna be good. Yeah. We'll we can just get right back on it when we get yeah, home because yeah. that we're always riding together anyway. So we're the same program, so yeah. yeah, awesome. And Dakota was over there with you guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cool. Find some good stuff while he's there. Oh uh, yeah, yep. yeah. Every every day. Yeah. I, yeah. I just speak for him. I think everyone definitely, definitely came across everything. Anything they anything they did come across was definitely getting done. So. Yeah, it wasn't like anyone outshined. It was like all three of the guys put it down what? all week. And what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, You're tripping. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You're tripping. <laughs> <laughs> mustache grew the you guys. Yeah. 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 I'm sure a bunch of kids are kind of like <laughs> just fiending to know what you guys are filming and doing and, and the, the webisodes kind of help with that but yeah. any other like inside stuff that you can kind of I guess tease the kids with like you were telling me you had to climb some statue with like a rope or something. Uh, like, yeah, yeah, it's it's been good. Like just basically, it seemed like we didn't leave. It. We didn't. None of us let each other have excuses. You know, like if we had an idea and and if you needed to go out of your way, if you needed a board or a piece of rope or whatever you needed to to get it done, it was kind of like like yeah, man, we can get that. We'll we'll get it done. And it's like you're kind of nervous, so you like you could easily use that excuse, but yeah. the crew wouldn't let you. Like nah, like you can make that happen. So. So we did, so, so definitely feeling good about this trip, like, um, I have a solid base now. Last time I was out here in California, it went a little slow, so now I feel like we're really rolling, got some solid footage, and um, I'm feeling like, you know, not as nervous about the <coughs> deadline and stuff, so. Yeah, speaking of the sculpture, me and, me and Dakota were just holding on while Van is, like, like not climbing that sculpture, <laughs> holding, holding however, however heavy you were just sitting there, just man, this broke down, it was crazy. <laughs> You got it done, it was ridiculous. It's definitely some interesting spots yeah, so in the Australia trip. Yeah. So it was pretty crazy. Some different types different type of stuff. Yeah, out there. In yeah, a lot of a lot of a lot of artsy stuff, a lot of sculptures yeah. to ride on. It was mm -hmm. that everything we came across we were just don't see this every day at all, yeah. so what kinda what kind of stuff you do like during the downtime, non riding? Um, really honestly, we, honestly, we, we were pretty yeah, we were on the go pretty much every day. We could be we were getting up early, we were coming home pretty late too. So we we all wanted to though. We wanted we wanted to ride as much as we can at one point. We you know, it was like half half drizzling through the day and we were still, you know, going yeah. out and just duck yeah. under for a little bit and deal with it, but 
And we honestly had only one day. I think we had downtime when it rained, and we just kind of relaxed. But yeah, we were going you know, pretty, <coughs> pretty, pretty hard most of the time. Riding, trying to ride every day, just getting up and getting straight yeah. to it. And yeah. we were like, like they said, really didn't, really didn't relax that much. Nah, we didn't want. Yeah, we didn't want to. We were yeah. too, we were too excited. We're out. Yeah. We, you know, we would get used to Melbourne and then be on to you know Canberra, and then we get used to there, and then be on to Sydney, so yeah, we kept, kept becoming new spots, so we get equally excited yeah. each time. So. We did stop by like a sanctuary, and saw, did the typical, like yeah. saw kangaroos and koala bears and stuff, and yeah, that really so cool. that was that was pretty cool, but uh, you yeah, know, for we, the most part, just, we just riding. We, we even rode in Cal up until we left for Australia, and then back. in Australia, <laughs> yeah, we, we rode all the way up until our, our flight for, for to come back also, so hopefully, you know, we took the day off, but now I gotta convince them too that we don't want to go riding tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but it's Cali. We don't, you know, we're not here all the time, so we definitely gonna probably get excited tomorrow and go ride again. But yeah. it's eighty five yeah. degrees out. Yeah, yeah, it's perfect weather. So yeah, that's another thing out there. The weather, yeah, the weather was amazing the whole time. So we were just we were excited at all times, pretty much. It went it went good. Nice. It was fun. Um, Daryl. What else you got going on for the year other than filming for the fit video? I'm sure you got kink stuff and your own stuff happening. Yeah, uh, doing kink stuff this year, we're just basically doing web stuff. Uh, we got a couple trips planned, and we'll just do trip edits, and then um, see what happens at the end of the year, like if we want to compile the edits onto a, a giveaway, or I don't know, we're, we're still working on stuff like that, but basically, you know, not really any pressure for you know a DVD or anything like that. We're just enjoying some traveling and just having fun, you yeah. know. So no worries. It's been good. Cool. Taiwan trip. Yeah, Taiwan in May. It's going to be eye opening. Can't can't wait. So this guy's tagging along too. So it's going to be awesome. Going to be doing sake shots. <laughs> 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 not as productive right away. <laughs> 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 you don't have buy a plane ticket for, yeah. for me play. Yeah. Productivity just plummets. Where were you uh, yeah. weren't hanging out? <laughs> Instead of <laughs> Robbie Morales with, with a fucking whip, it'll be like <laughs> Ryan Fudger with a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you both thought I'd be a productive. <laughs> so, <laughs> <I'm> down <laughs> be good. Yeah, it's gonna be a good year. <laughs> Can I get one of these hats? I think that's good, yeah. Huh? Well, let's ask, let's ask, hey, Ben, I've uh, bought the Philly shop. I was able to say, when did that open up? Yeah. Really good. <laughs> 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 got one on the truck. Okay, what about these hats? <laughs> 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 so, you want me to come on? Yeah, it's a Philly shop. Yes, you know, I've been off in Australia. You know, doing our thing, trying to get, trying to get filming. I was, I was trying to go extra hard because I know when I get home, I have to focus 110 percent. Um, getting a new uh, two by four Philadelphia location yeah. up and running, so that's going to be taking a lot of my time. So I'm just trying to ride as much as I can on this trip because uh, I'm going to be busy with that. I mean, I'll still be riding, but it's definitely going to, going to have to divvy up my time properly and uh, focus on both because. Uh, by mid-May or early June, we should we should have that shop open, and uh, you know I'm real excited about it because I think Philly needs like a, a core BMX shop, and uh, I think it's gonna be a good vibe, and you know keep it stocked, and uh, you know just give you know give how, do it right. You know? yeah. How far is it, your the first location from the second? Uh, they're about a half hour to 45 minutes away, um, the two locations, but I think it's it's kind of a different scene in Philly, and. Uh, you know, Jersey, it's it's a it's a cool spot, but uh, you know, everyone's always going to Philly to ride and and uh, hang out and do whatever. So it's like there's kind of a more of a reason to go to Philly as to where the only reason to go to Pennsville is just like the shop and maybe some local spots, you know. So it's um, you know, I think it'll be a good mix, you know, to have to have both locations rocking and you know, if if one shop maybe, you know. You can call over if like you're out of something in stock, and you know we can work together to just make it do it do everything proper. So, uh, nice. are you moving as well? No, I, uh, actually no. I'm I'm gonna stay living in Jersey. I, I thought about. I thought, I thought I saw. Something. Yeah, me and my wife had thought about living in, in Philly for just a little bit, just to kind of get the new store up and running. But uh, we decided against that, so we're gonna, we're gonna stay in Jersey for now, and just you know, but we'll we'll definitely be in Philadelphia a lot riding. Riding and just hanging out, and 
um, just getting the new shop up and running with the help of you know some some of the new guys that are going to be you know Wiz and Gamware be helping get that place set up and so uh, should be should be good.